I think letting go is a very positive experience. All right? When we let go, when we realize letting go, letting go, what is I want to let go? There is something which keeps you from gratitude, from the experience of gratitude. Otherwise, you always have more to be in gratitude for than to complain. But still, humanity complains about more. Nobody says, I'm a complainer on the t-shirt. They always say, <laughs> I'm in complaint. Nobody says, they always say, I'm in gratitude. They have gratitude rocks, gratitude pet dogs, <laughs> gratitude in the chain, gratitude in the pack of the pants, gratitude stickers, gratitude everywhere. <laughs> huh? But where is gratitude? What does it even mean, except from a na- word? What does it mean, except from a word, gratitude? Oh, I, I'm very grateful. Thank you. What is thank you? Right? What is thank you? Yeah, oh, thank you. What does it mean, thank you? Gratitude is a powerful experience which will liberate you. When you really come, get really touched by gratitude, the hunger of the mind will end. But there is some story which keeps us from gratitude, from the experience of gratitude. That story. And it's not negative. We just have to give attention to it, what it is. We have to be, take responsibility for that shadow of ourselves. And shadow is not bad. It's just shadow, the history of humanity. Our, our personality is not our own. Our mind is just not our own. Our mind is the mind of humanity. So don't take your shadow personally. Your shadow is the shadow of humanity as a whole. You sit here as an evolutionary impulse of humanity. We sit here representing the whole of humanity. When you let go of the story, you are in gratitude. What you are left with? is a deep sense of gratitude. You let go of your projections, your stories from the past, your projections into the future, all that's missing, you let go of it. You're left with deep gratitude of being here. You begin to realize and you look at the humanity as a whole that there is a lot of suffering on the planet. A lot of it. But still we all have something to be grateful for, truly. Truly, not the experience of it. The experience of it is really the recognition of unconditional love. That's what gratitude means, the recognition of the unconditional love that is constantly present, we, which we take for granted. The unconditional love, which is unconditionally intelligent, which is not based on any conditions, not based on anything. That deep presence of love, which makes this dream continue. This give, keeps giving this, us this opportunity to participate and have an experience. The opportunity to evolve, the opportunity to transform, because that's the biggest opportunity. The opportunity to evolve, the opportunity to transform ourselves and our fellow creatures. There is no other opportunity greater than that. The opportunity to get through the karma, to tune yourself closer and closer to the dharmic tone, closer and closer to that space of balance. That's the biggest opportunity. Everything else is part of the journey. But you always have just this opportunity, which is such a magnanimous opportunity to be grateful for. When we are touching gratitude, when we really start understanding gratitude, then the hunger, the mind ends. Only then. Otherwise the mind's hunger knows no end. 